He's the anti-establishment candidate, playing by his own rules. Let Rick Santorum, the 2012 caucus winner, visit all 99 Iowa counties. Trump has only bothered to come here five times since he announced in June. I think about my mother, Dorothy. Let Hillary Clinton and Ben Carson mother, pay to run soft focus biographical ads in Des Moines and Cedar Rapids. That's why I've always done this for all the Dorothys. Together we can make America great again. Trump gets his attention for free. Donald, 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 Donald. The result, he's well ahead in every poll. This is what unconventional looks like. Last weekend, Trump buzzed the state fair in his branded helicopter. Sunday, he called for the deportation of immigrants and the end of constitutionally protected birthright citizenship. So you're going to split up families. Chuck. You're going to deport children. Chuck. No, no, we're going to keep the families together. We have to keep the families together. But you're going to keep them together. Out. But they have to go. What if they have no place to go? We will work with them. They have to go. Chuck, and we either have a country or we don't have a country. Although many Republican voters lean toward Trump's point of view, one Iowa pro-immigration group found only 30 percent of likely caucus goers agree. But that would be sweating the details. Art Sanders is a political science professor at Drake University in Des Moines. What are we seeing here, reality or a reality show? It's sort of both at the same time. Um, there's a real campaign going on, um, but we're far enough out that, it, especially with Donald Trump in the campaign, that it's largely playing out as this very strange attempt by people to get people to pay attention to them, especially on the Republican side, when there are so many people running. So then how do you explain the Donald Trump phenomenon on the right? Part of the Republican base uh, ethos for many years has been Washington is broken, politicians are all corrupt, we need to change the system, and outsiders true, everybody on the Republican side is campaigning as an outsider, and Donald Trump is that to the nth degree. We've spent two trillion When Trump is not physically in the state, you have to search for signs of his campaign. This is Trump's only headquarters in Iowa. Have you ever asked God for forgiveness? <laughs> I'm not sure I have. I just go and try and do a better job from there. I don't think so. I think I, if, I, if I do something wrong, I think I just try and make it right. I don't bring God into that picture. I don't. Now, when I take, you know, when we go in church and, and when I drink my little wine, which is about the only wine I drink, and have my little cracker, I guess that's a form of asking for forgiveness. Even that answer does not appear to have hurt Trump among Christian conservatives. I think what Mr. Trump is doing is he's taken this lack of political correctness to a whole nother level. He's tapping into the frustration of the American people. They're just sick and tired of their government. Uh, they believe politicians lie to them all the time. And whether they agree with how Donald Trump is saying it or they don't agree with it, they just like that somebody's saying it. He's making the others respond to him. So that's why I think Donald Trump is, is doing so well in the polls right now. Just yesterday, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker, once considered the front runner in Iowa, said he agreed with Trump about revoking birthright citizenship. The Trump Iowa team is ecstatic. How much of this is about celebrity and how much of this is about policy? I would tend to say that you can't even really separate that. Um, because policy, with what Mr. Trump has started to, to come out with with policy, is going to work. And his celebrity status is what probably started to drive people to a question coming to see him. They're tired of people having to stop and think about what they're going to say before the answer. Whereas Mr. Trump, he just lets it go. And when Trump lets it go, he overshadows the entire race, including the long line of candidates competing for attention, money, and votes. For now, it's threatening to turn the entire race upside down and may already have. I'm Gwen Eiffel in Des Moines.